Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how we can create rain in Blender easily. So I hope you guys will find this tutorial useful but before going to that, if you end up liking this video, please click on that like button, do share this content and if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing my channel and support me. And by the way, if you like short 3D simulation videos, you can check out my second channel, link in the description, okay? So now without any further ado, let's start today's video. So here I am using Blender 2.93, nice. So now let's select everything in this default scene by pressing A on the keyboard and delete. Now let's start this by creating a plane. So go to this add mesh select a plane here. Let me increase the scaling. So press S and increase the scaling of this plane here. And duplicate this plane by pressing shift plus D and move it in Z axis here like this. So this is the source for our raindrops. Okay. So now select this below plane, press tab on the keyboard for edit mode, right click subdivide and let me increase this subdivision counts to 100 okay now again press tab to exit this edit mode fine so now select this above plane come to this particle settings add particles here so if i play this you can see we are getting some particles emitting from this plane so if you want to increase the number of this particles count you can increase that so if i change this to 2500 and if i play this once again you can see we are getting a lot more particles so choose the number of particles you like. So I will leave this to 1000 only. And frame start and end, I will leave this to 1 to 200. Lifetime, I will increase this to 100. And life randomness, let me give it some value, fine. So now instead of these particles, we want raindrops to be falling down. So we need to replace these particles with a raindrop. For that, we need to create a mesh. So go to this add mesh, select this ecosphere so i will be using ecosphere so subdivisions i will reduce to one and first let me bring it here and let me scale this here like this so that it looks like a diamond kind of thing nice so now select this particle system scroll down come to this render options render as change it from hello to object okay so in this space select the ecosphere so now we will get this ecospheres dropping instead of that particles so now select this below plane come to this physics property add dynamic paint onto that okay so type let it be canvas and click on this add canvas button so enable this anti-aliasing and surface type change it to waves fine so now select these particles that means this plane again enable this dynamic paint onto that but type change it to brush and add brush scroll down come to the source here in this paint method since we are using the particle system we need to select this particle system and in particle system let's select this particle system okay so now if i play this you can see we are getting that drop or what we can droplets effect on the water so let me shade smooth this one and let me play this so here you can see we got that effect so these raindrops, we can increase or reduce the scaling. So let me select this, come to this particle system once again. Here we will get the scale option. So I will reduce the scaling a bit. So I think this is enough. And let me increase the count to 1500, I think is fine. And let me play this once again. So, okay, this is good. So here we can control the direction of these raindrops here. So for that, we will be using force field. So go to this add come to this force field and add wind here so let me rotate the wind first of all let me place it here and come to this physics property of this wind strength increase this to i think 15 i think is fine so now if i play this you can see the direction of this droplets changes if i change this to further you can see the droplets will be moving sidewards okay so let me place this echo sphere side fine so for these particles we will add shader so select this sphere echo sphere come to this material properties add new material surface change it to glass bsdf and roughness reduce the roughness iq or let it be 1.33 okay and in ev we should enable the screen space refractions okay so if i move on to this material viewport we will get that water kind of effect on the droplets so for this plane also i will add the same material okay and let me change this color a bit nice 
and in render settings we need to enable motion blur so enable this motion blur and steps i will increase this to 10 and maximum blur i think 64 will look good okay so now if i play this once again you can see we got our rain effect here so in this way we can create this rain effect in blender easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye